Hi, it's Nicole Moore here with another Flirty Friday video. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below to make sure you never miss a video. Today's topic is how do you attract in a spiritual man? So many women that follow me in my community want this. They are wanting a spiritual man and I actually have one. So I want to share with you how I got him and what you can do if that's what you want to attract. So here's the first thing you need to do to attract in a spiritual man. It's to give up the picture frame. Here's what I mean. Of course, Miracle says, when you're trying to attract in someone, when you're trying to love someone, focus on the content, not the frame. So the mistake that I see a lot of spiritual women making is they think my spirituality looks like this. And so a spiritual man, he's going to look this way too. And they focus on the picture frame and they think he has to do certain things like attend, you know, uh, personal development workshops or have crystals or be meditating or be reading books. They focus on what they think a spiritual man needs to look like. And they're actually blocking out the true spiritual man that might want to come to them. So instead you want to focus on the content. Here's what I mean. Is he showing up as a man who has the results of what spirituality is meant to bring us? So if you're a spiritual person, why are you doing it? Well, if you're, if you follow spirituality, it's meant to bring you in general, a sense of peace, a sense of faith, a sense that you are a creator, you can create what you want, and that life and God and angels and whatever you believe in is helping you. It brings us optimism. So the end result of spirituality, no matter what kind of spirituality you practice, is the same thing. It's being filled on the inside with love. It's having deep faith and trust. It is feeling optimistic when you look into the future. That's the end result. So what you want to be looking for is, does the man have these qualities or is he actively working on those qualities? Because at the end of the day, that is a spiritual person. A spiritual person is someone who lives by spiritual principles and is experiencing the end result of those things. So don't look for him to his spirituality to look exactly like yours because you might be missing out on the real spiritual man that's in front of you. So I call my husband Mike. I affectionately call him the Zen master next door because his spirituality doesn't look like mine. It didn't, especially when we first met. You know, he had on his Tinder profile keeping it Zen and I love that and I thought, oh, maybe he's spiritual and that kind of hooked me in. But he doesn't read a ton of, you know, spiritual books like I do, but he meditates every single day and he, if he does read a book, he'll implement it like no one I've ever seen. He'll listen to a spiritual video or you know, we'll go to a workshop and he actually is implementing the steps and makes a real tangible change. That's someone who's spiritual. So I looked at who he was as a person and I saw he has these qualities of integrity and peace and internal centeredness. And that told me that he was a spiritual person. So once you've given up the picture frame and you're actually looking for the internal qualities, which are what is important, here's the next step you want to ask yourself to attract in your spiritual man. Are you a match? So you may have a million crystals in your house. You may even be meditating or, you know, uh, manifesting. But are you a person who is currently living the truth of these spiritual principles? You'll know, but are you experiencing the end result, right? That faith, that optimism, that peace, that centeredness. Because that is what makes you a true match. So if you're going on dates with a man or men and you're judging them or you're saying they're not as spiritual as I am or you're in introducing separation between you and the other person, then that's an indication that you can up level your thoughts to a more spiritual place so your energy is in a more spiritual place so you actually attract in the man. So you'll know you're dating from a spiritual place when that man in front of you, you're not trying to judge. When that man in front of you, you're seeing the other person as you. When that man in front of you, you know that no matter what happens on the date, you're not attached to the outcome. You understand that the two of you coming together, whether it's a date or a lifetime, is a meeting designed for your growth. And so you're optimistic and you're positive and you're not hating dating and you know that life itself is helping you. Can you hear what I'm saying? You can tell by how you're dating if you're actually implementing all the spiritual knowledge that's in front of you that um, is, is meant to help you get there. And when you're actually implementing it, you're, you'll feel a certain way and that feeling is a match for the kind of man that you want. And the third step to attracting in a spiritual man is raising your vibration to love and clearing away the fear. 
So the more you're actually emitting a love vibration, the more you're a match for the kind of man you want. Remember, you want a spiritual man because you think it'll bring you certain feelings and he'll have certain qualities. And so the higher your vibration is, the less in fear you are, the easier it is for you to say, I want this kind of man and for you to manifest him in. So I realized along the way that when I wanted a spiritual man at first, the truth is there was a part of me that wanted a spiritual man because I was afraid of getting hurt again. And I thought, oh, if I have a spiritual relationship, then I'm just not going to have any pain. And so I had to let go of that fear of being hurt. And I had to really um, ground myself in why I wanted that relationship to begin with from a place of love. And when I did that, this beautiful, amazing, truly spiritual man that my husband Mike is appeared. So to recap, step one is don't look for the frame because it very well may be different. A lot of men have a different version of spirituality. Look for the content. Is he living the spiritual principles? That's a spiritual man. Is he experiencing the effect of what spirituality is meant to do for all of us? That's a spiritual man. Step two is, are you living it? Are you actually a match? Are you in crazy town or do you feel peaceful? Are you insecure? Are you centered in your God-given worth? Are you judging men? Or are you actually loving every single man that comes your way, whether you stay with him or not? Then if you're in that space, you'll know you're actually a match for a spiritual man. And then the last step is, getting out of the fear vibration as much as possible and raising your vibration to love as much as possible. So who you are is this beautiful match for the kind of man that you really want. I hope this video was helpful for you. The truth is manifesting a man isn't just this little quick fix. It actually comes with who you're being. But I know that if you're watching this video, it means that you want that, which means you're on your way. So I hope you have a very flirty Friday.